Now let's try to understand the meaning of linearly dependent and linearly independent vectors. Now in this video we'll discuss about two vectors whether they are linearly dependent or not. The two vectors u and v are linearly dependent if they are collinear. That means they are parallel or they could be represented by a scalar multiple. So vector u and v are linearly dependent if vector u can be written as k times v where k is some real number. The other way of saying the same thing is that the linear combination au plus bv equals to 0 where a and b are real numbers not both 0. So if you can have a linear combination as equal to 0 for a set of vectors then those vectors are linearly dependent. Right? This will be 0 only if the two vectors are parallel or collinear otherwise it will result into the third vector right so the resultant of two vectors can be zero only if they are collinear right so if i have one vector like this and the other one like this then i will have a value of a and b so that i can have resultant of these vectors as zero otherwise it is not possible right Second is they cannot form basis vectors. Since linearly dependent vectors are collinear, so they cannot form basis vector or they cannot span in R2, right? They cannot span in R2. We can say that also, right? So remember that part that linearly dependent vectors are those vectors which are collinear and therefore they cannot form basis vectors and they cannot span in R2. Now based on this we have a question here which says determine whether the following set of vectors form basis for two-dimensional space. Now if the vectors form basis for two-dimensional space then they should not be collinear, right? If they are collinear then they can only span for vectors in their direction not in any other direction correct so our test here is to check whether the vectors are collinear or not right so in other words we will check whether these vectors are dependent or not if they are dependent then they are collinear and they cannot form basis for two dimension space right so vector a and b so vector a is one two the vector b is 2 times 6. Can we write A as, let's say 1 comma 2, as equals to K times 2 times 6? This is what we need to check. If we can, then they are scalar multiples, they are collinear, right? And they are dependent, so they cannot form basis for 2 damage, right? Now if we try to match with this, if we want to get 1 out of 2 then I then the k should be half right but if k is half then it produces 3 not 2 right so if 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 k equals to half then what we get from here is 1 3 and not 1 2 right therefore these vectors are not coll collinear so they are not collinear and since they are not collinear they will form basis for two dimensional space so the answer here is yes and that is how you're going to test it so i like you to do the same test for this one right so here can they form basis so if i have to get let's say vector b this time from u then let me write b as equals to k times u so do you have a value of k which can give me b so b is 6 9 and I want it to be written as k times 4 6 right so to get 6 from 4 k should be equal to 1.5 right 1.5 so if I put k as 1.5 and then check it out 1.5 what do I get 1.5 times 4 is 6 and 1.5 times 6 
is 9, right? So that is correct. So we do have k equals to 1.5, which can give me vector b. That means these vectors are dependent, right? And so they cannot form basis for two-dimensional space, right? So the, here the answer is no. But as you can see, we check whether they form basis for two-dimensional space or not by checking if they are scalar multiples or not. And the other way of saying the same thing is that the first set of vectors which we had, that is A and B, since they are not scalar multiples, we call them independent variables. Independent vectors, linearly independent vectors, right? And these ones which we got here are linearly dependent. So we'll write them as linearly dependent vectors. So it's kind of important to understand the relation between dependent vectors, collinear vectors, whether they can span or not, and whether they can form basis for two dimension or not. So get all these things together because we'll have a lot of multiple choice questions based on this concept. Go through this video and try to understand and analyze so that you can answer the next set of multiple choice based on this perfectly. Thanks and all the best.